Welcome back, my name's Lee and on this channel we talk everything ultra running. In today's video I'm going to be discussing three myths about ultra running. So this video is for anybody really that wants to get into ultra marathon running but doesn't really know where to start or is scared that they won't do it really. A little bit of a backstory. I myself started ultra running in 2009 where I completed in the Comrades Marathon. I knew nothing about ultra running. Whilst it was probably the hardest thing I ever did, it opened my eyes up to a whole new world of running. And from there, I've just continued to race all over the world, from Spain to France, in Brecon, when it's raining. So I kind of know a thing or two about ultra running. The first myth I want to discuss is that you have to be an elite runner. You don't. When I started, I had no clue. The furthest I'd ever run was 16 miles, and that was once. And I say run, I mainly walked. You do not need to be an elite runner to run an ultra marathon. If you've got a good level of fitness and you're willing to put in the work, in the training, anybody that runs can run an ultra marathon. Runners come in all shapes and sizes, all ages, and all fitness levels. The biggest reason that people don't do ultras is because they're scared of the distance and that they won't complete it. But it's not like running a 5k or a 10k. You don't have to go flat out. And that brings me on to my second myth of ultra running. People get this conceived idea that ultra runners run from the moment you start the race until you finish. If like training for a marathon or a 10k where you're completely flat out and there's no time for rest. Ultra marathon is a complete different ball game. It's okay to walk as long as it doesn't damage your ego too much because you're worried about the pace. There's not many ultra marathons that you will not walk. Back to walk in the hills. The run walk strategy is adopted by I'd say over 75, 80% of ultra marathon runners. It's only at the very top, the elite, where they run the ultra marathon from start to finish. And that's okay. Think about the distance you're covering, not the pace you're going. And last but not least, the kit. Many people think that ultra running is expensive, but it can be as expensive or inexpensive as you want it to be. Personally, myself, if it does the job, then I don't care. Take for instance, my running jacket. Waterproof jacket from Decathlon, I paid 15 pounds. Some jackets go up to 150 quid. I've paid 10% of that cost. It doesn't have to be expensive. As long as it's fit for purpose, then you're good to go. To summarize this video, ultra marathon running is for everyone. You don't have to fork out an expensive kit. You don't need to be an elite runner and it's okay to walk. If you found value in this video and you'd like to know more about ultra running, smash our subscribe, comment down below, have you run an ultra marathon? If not, why not? And click that bell notification because this weekend I'm going to be taking on my second race of the Pegasus Slam, 30 miles up and around Sugarloaf. It's set to be a gruelling test of elevation. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.